Good evening once again. The purpose of this is to sort of introduce a gentleman who's in the house tonight visiting us that we wish could stay forever. He's that great. But first let me introduce to you the uh, other gentleman here with me. On my right is Mel Lewis, my co-leader. And next, next Next to Mel is Mr. Joe Jones. Standing on Joe's right is our pianist, Roland Hanna. And, and we're all here to sort of pay tribute to the gentleman whose name I haven't mentioned yet, but as soon as I do, I'm sure you will recognize who he is and what he has meant to the music business these many years. First of all, he's a saxophone player, and he's only in the country for a short visit, as I said before, but he has made such an impact on the people and the musicians here until, like everybody is sort of aghast and amazed and happy, most of all, that we've had a chance to hear him and to see him once again. You know, and, uh, well, maybe Mel has something else to say about it. I'm sure he does. Well, when I first uh, got to hear him, when I was very young, and uh, when I was very young, <laughs> uh, he's only around 15 years old. That's, that's uh, <laughs> just about the time uh, there was a change in music, uh, a, a new style was coming in, and, I, and a, a lot of new records were coming out. And uh, the, the name that came to the forefront at the time was uh, Charlie Parker and uh, the alto. But on tenor, there was uh, a few of the uh, men that were uh, saying something a little before that time. And all of a sudden they came on, just came on. All, uh, there they were on, uh, on, on these little dial records and all, two and a half minute, three minute records. And just about the time I started to really understand what was happening and enjoying it, he left. And uh, we were very happy that he'd finally come back, even for just a short stay. But I think uh, the man on my right has seen him a lot more often though, through the years on his travels. And is uh, an older friend of his and knows much more about him. So I'm going to turn it over to him. The young man whom we are referring to, I believe I've known him longer than anybody in the room, including himself. <laughs> All I said to him was, I said, you better go to Europe. He said, I got a cold. I said, come up to the drugstore, <laughs> and I'll get you some castor oil, and I'll get you some orange juice, and you get on that boat, and don't come back until I say so. So I said so. <laughs> and he, 24 years later. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I let the pianist, the piano player, the piano player, I know, whom we have been talking about. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all talking about Mr. Don Vine. Don Vine. Don Vine. 